All right, now the body is complete. You guys like it? I'm gonna put headlights and taillights in it next and underbody lights. So I got the underbody lights and I got the headlights and taillights that's gonna go in it next. But I just thought I would show you guys it. All right, let's see if our little switch works. Oh, yes it does. We now have headlights. And we have taillights. That is too cool. Taillights. And now we got some headlights. Awesome. Awesome. I really like how they're just kind of like there. Alright, so I've added headlights. I've added tail lights. See the tail lights come out of the back there. Body looks great. I also cut a front hole in the windshield to allow more air in. And then if you look over here, that's our power switch. So that way you can set the body on the car, right? And then after you plug it in and everything, all you gotta do to turn the lights on and off is flip that switch and it will turn the lights on and off. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got headlights, body lights, our new body's looking good. It's like a, a metallic purple and blue. It's awesome, man. This came out perfect. And then I flipped it and scratched it all up. Our graffiti. Like my tail lights? Tail lights look cool. Anyway, GPM. Bad or not? I don't know. Basically, my entire truck is now GPM. Mainly because they're the only ones that make every single part on this truck. Other manufacturers make parts too, but they don't make like every damn thing. And I've tried finding other manufacturers and if you go through them, some of them make certain parts and then some of them don't. Well, GPM was the only ones that I could find that made aluminum turn buckets. These things, the out drives, whatever you want to call them. What's the actual name? Aluminum turn buckets. Yeah. So we're gonna get rid of this stock black one and put these on there. You guys like our new body? Looks good, right? Check this out. So I just finished this one as well. See, it also has that purple, blue. Well, anyway, I screwed up on it in a couple of spots and um, I'm not happy at all with the truck. So what I've done is I ordered another body. Yay, the exact one like this. Um, I'm gonna redo it. See how it's, what I really want is I want this, what you actually see going on back here. I want a gray with metallic blue and metallic purple infused. I accidentally overshot and screwed up here and then when I was working on the front here and made these red like little spikes, I accidentally got some red on the hood. So that didn't come out blue at all. It actually came out kind of purple. The windows though and the, the windshields and stuff, they came out phenomenally. And then right here, you can see I messed it up. So anyway, um, yeah. So this is going to be a maybe another bash queen body or something i don't know what to do with it maybe i'll sign it and give it away i don't know i don't know but that's our new one right here the pig the 80s the graffiti man i love those red lights on the back man all right so anyway enough bsing i just kind of wanted to show you guys what i was 
up to. Let's pull this off. There we go. And I guess I can just kind of set it over here. Look, I'm finally running 22.2 volts in my truck. Yes, question. For some weird reason, every time I go to plug in the second battery, it pops. Does yours do that? The, the truck's not on, nothing's on. The only thing is on is the controller. That's the only thing that's on, and that's the only thing that should be on when you go to turn on the vehicle. But anyway, I plug one battery in, and then when I go to plug the second one in, it pops every time, pop. I don't know, is, is that normal? I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Our hot racing gears and inch G and then that center locking one way, that's doing quite well. Um, here in a couple of days, I'll tear apart the truck and just kind of make sure everything is groovy. That fan running. It's ready to go. See, ready to go. Here, let me unplug the body. That doesn't need to be here anymore. I'll just set that over there. The car, man, this thing just rips now. So, adjusting them, it's a little tight. But it does look better than the stock one. So this was the stock one. This is the stock one. And then that's our new one. Stock. New one. I don't know. I guess we'll find out which ones are better. The good news is, is that if these break or fail, I do have backups. And then here's the front. The front looks good. You know, I was sitting there sitting there thinking about it i was like you know i have all of this pretty stuff on the front but this was just looking horrendous i didn't like it at all so we now have this that was fun trying to find the correct screw for that because not all of them you actually have three different sizes with this kit you have like a a small a medium and a large which I've already used the ones and they only give you one for this corner here right there because all that's aluminum in there too I mean the whole thing's aluminum now so it looks good I'm happy with it alrighty so all four are on the truck now it looks a lot better than the stock ones. They just, they look beefier, man. They just, they were really easy to install. I definitely like them. They really stand out now when you look at the truck. See what I'm saying? Those, those really stick out now. It just screams performance. You know what I mean? I like the look of it. They claim that, people claim that GPM is junk, but... I haven't had any problems with them so far. So there you have it. 